okay welcome back guys we are talking about the different uh, questions we are we are analyzing different questions from the group B uh, part of the CSI net question paper and what we're looking at we're looking at the type of questions so it's always my recommendation to look at the type of questions we are talking about not directly at the questions because remember we have in the previous video we have talked about four different variety of questions that can uh, be asked in CSI net group B because most of the part of the group B will be consisting of memorizing type of questions but some of them will implicate your knowledge of biological terms some of them will check your knowledge of uh, some concepts basic concepts so let us look at here in this case this is also about group B and this is about cell biology so we are talking about cell biology questions so we are enlisted three questions and let's talk about them so first of all first question that which cyclin is involved in the formation of free transcriptional enhancer binding protein or PTEB now for that reason what you need to know it's, it's obviously it's kind of direct type of question but still it will implicate the knowledge of term that free transcriptional enhancer binding protein or PTEB so once you know what's PTEB and what's the function of PTEB it will be much more easier to solve these questions but if you don't know what PTEB is standing for what PTEB is functioning then you can't get the answer of the questions so this question here is a type of term memorizing type of questions remember term memorizing term memorizing type or TM type of questions uh, that I'm talking about so term memorizing means you need to memorize some terms though it's a protein name but still it, we can uh, get the value of term memorizing from there so you need to directly know the answer otherwise you can't get it you don't need to apply any knowledge or any concept there it's simply you need to memorize it and get the answer now in this case the answer that P tape is associated with cyclin K I know the answer so it's direct that yes cyclin K is the correct answer so the answer or option 2 is going to be the right choice for this but remember there is nothing to nothing to implicate nothing to think nothing to do anything simply you, if you know the answer you know if you don't know just you can't write the answer now let's move on to the second one so let's 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 move on to the second one here okay so in the second question in this case the binding of uh, erythropoietin to its EPO receptor leads to activation of signal pathway termed as now this is a question this is a question which will implicate slight knowledge right so it's, it's also memorizing because you need to know what which uh, pathway is related to erythropoietin and EPO receptor so it's kind of memorizing but still it will test your knowledge a little, little bit so I put them all on the knowledge knowledge memorizing or KM type of type category of questions now in this case binding of erythropoietin to its EPO receptor or erythropoietin receptor is there and which which pathway is related so if you know erythropoietin and which pathway erythropoietin is related or any of this so if you heard any times the name that erythropoietin uh, may be a part of this, maybe a part of that, maybe a something like that. So once you know that thing, it will be easy for you to solve. But if you don't know it, you can't know. You can't solve this. But another way to solve this knowledge type of questions or knowledge memori memorizing type of questions, you can look for each of the options. For example, if you look at the option that NF kappa B pathway, you might think NF kappa B is not related to erythropoietin because erythropoietin and renin, these things are different. They're the secretory pathway should not be NF kappa B because NF kappa B is a stress response, uh, usually stress response element related signal. So you can exclude this out. In APAPS MAD pathway. Uh, if you know what's the term or what this stands for, APAPS MAD, you can answer it. If you don't know, there is no way. It, it's some completely blank. So if you don't know any of this uh, term, you just it's always a better option to not answer those questions because it will give you a negative mark, right? So tyrosine kinase pathway, maybe it's a part of tyrosine kinase pathway. But when I see jack stat pathway, because that's that's the thing, that's the phosphorylation, and I have heard that erythropoietin is related to jack stat pathway, I can be sure yes. JAKSTAT pathway will be related to erythropoietin and EPO receptor in activated signals. So JAKSTAT will be the correct answer in that case. But remember, ultimate thing, if you know the answers, you can put it. If you don't know, you need to look for and exclude out other options. And uh, at least uh, exclude out everything uh, but one, which is going to be the correct one, right? So that's the way to solve this type of question. Now move on to this, this problem. It is about sodium potassium pump operates under intracellular concentration of now this question will test your concept it's not it's kind of memorizing if you can memorize it's fine but it tests your concept because so I always talk this type of question as a conceptual conceptual memorizing or CM type of questions 
Now in this question, as you can see, the sodium potassium pump, you need to know little bit about sodium potassium pump. If you don't know about sodium potassium pump, you won't be able to answer this question. You know that sodium potassium pump is a, a, is a pump which, which uh, interacts with C sodiums and two potassiums that are inside and outside. So it's a kind of anti-porter type of pump that are using uh, this uh, density gradient of sodium and potassium to, to release and it requires the ATP in this case, right? So you, if you know this type of uh, systems and pumps, then you can answer it. Now in this case, the answer we know that for this, let's, let's take each of these options and exclude out the odd one uh, from this list. So you can look at that high sodium to low potassium. So you don't know. Again, you need to memorize a little bit because otherwise it can't be possible, right? Because you know, if it's an antiporter type of pump, pump, that means one is coming inside. So if this cell membrane, one is inside, one is coming outside, one is going, uh, one is going outside, one is coming inside. So, so which one is coming inside and which one is coming outside? That's the question. And also, uh, which one is coming down the gradient, which one is coming up the gradient, that's against the gradient, that's also another question. So you need to memorize things, that's why it's conceptual memorizing, not entirely conceptual. You can get entire con entirely conceptual questions in uh, group C or a part C of the CS and uh, question. But in this case, let's say high sodium and low potassium. If it operates in high sodium and low potassium, no, it never op operates in high sodium, low potassium, because it's the idea of taking sodium. So Low sodium is the actual con condition to operate it. So high sodium, we extrude out both the high sodium concentrations. So we stand up only for two options, option C and 4, because low sodium is required, right? And if a uh, first option that you can see, C, low sodium, low potassium, that's not possible because it's an antiporter. So if one is operating at low sodium, so definitely others should be operating at a high concentration. So low sodium and high potassium should be the correct uh, option. So you can see how I derive this answer. If you know small little thing that's kind of antiporter like activity and also if you know that yes, low sodium is the primary uh, concept for this, then you can easily derive your answer even if you completely know, uh, completely don't know the answer, right? So that's the answer. So option C is going, option 4 is going to be the correct answer for it. So you can see conceptual memorizing, once you have a basic, uh, basic understanding of the topics, you can operate. But again, uh, memorizing, if you are having memorizing power, if you know, if you, if you put these things in your mind, group B is definitely for you, right? So that's it guys. Thank you.